But what was it that you and Luke did oh. that set Coach Kugler off on you? You guys want to hear my story tonight? Yeah. Yes, we do. Okay. So. Story time. With story Bill time. <laughs> All right. Well, so it was about – it was early in practice. It was – not to say the middle of practice, but maybe a little bit earlier than middle. And I'm not sure if you guys have been out to – a college practice or a professional practice, even some high school practices, where they'll have a blowhorn and they'll blow the blowhorn and they'll change the number that someone's carrying. Or you'll know that at this, when this horn goes off, you need to rotate to the next station. And all the coaches have like a script so they know what they're teaching next and what's going to happen next. Well, the horn had gone off and all the, they were originally practicing on two fields that were kind of put together side by side. So, yeah, the different specialties going up against each other or, like, the linebackers would go up against the linemen or, you know what I mean, little things like the, the wide receivers would be going up against the DBs. Hmm. So the horn went off and everybody went to one field. And Luke and me looked out there and we saw a cameraman right in the middle of it and filming every single different drill. And it was a great shot. So the cameraman, Luke and me, we ran out to right in the middle of the field. And uh, I'm holding the, the wire and Luke's going in a circle, point out. And they got the linebackers over here with Alvin Jones and then the quarterbacks over here with Braxton Hughes. And you see Zach and Lee just stood over the hockey tours. And like, it was just this action shot out of the blue. We hear this, doom, doom, doom. Hey! And we're like, what? <laughs> and we look over, it's Coach freaking Kugler with two of the people. Get the fuck off the field! And we're like, oh, God. And he's literally, doom, 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 come running up toward us. I never should have this media come out here. It's not going to happen again. This isn't the fucking NFL Network. And he is just laying into me. <laughs> and, like, Luke and me like, ah, we're sorry, Coach. And Luke's like, I'm very, very sorry. It's, it's my fault. I apologize. I, I take responsibility. He's like, get off the field. If I ever see you on this field, we'll never have media on this field ever, ever again. And just, I mean, gave it to us. And everybody's like, ooh, <laughs> doing that. Yeah, he tore into us. We thought we were done. And, like, Luke and me kind of went out of the side. We're like, man. Man, what do we do, man? Like, I don't know where I'm going to be allowed back. What are we going to tell KBIA? Like, we can't film anymore because, well, we tried, you know, we told Coach, we're like, we, we saw another cameraman on the field, so we thought it was okay. The cameraman was a UTEP minor cameraman filming oh. the practices for the practice. Yes. So, you know, when you had film study, that's who was out there. So well, that explains a lot. <laughs> Lesson <laughs> learned. Could have said something, bud. <laughs> so, so how scary was that? Oh my God! Like, I mean, Luke's you know he's a tough guy and stuff. He wasn't like shook or anything, but he was more like he he was really disappointed because before the practice started, you know, we got that out there early and we we're kind of talking to the coaches and getting our bounds and seeing how everybody was feeling. And you're kind of testing the waters. You can tell when you talk to him. Uh, Coach came, hey, Luke, what's going on? Great job in that story you did on me. I really appreciate it. Good job with, you know, covering the minors. And he was just, just saying nice things to Luke. And, mm -hmm. you know, Luke was like, oh, my God, Coach likes me. This is great. And then we got – In 180. Yeah. <laughs> and then he destroyed us, <laughs> ripped us to pieces like we were little kids. And then after practice, uh, we had we – because after practice, you – Speak with the athletic director who's kind of in charge. Her name is Denise Mata. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, you run by her who you can interview and your different things that you're supposed to do. And um, if you want to get with the player or a coach, you ask her and she puts it on a list. And then after the practice is over, she'll grab them and pull them aside. So that's what we were doing. And uh, we got to, of course, interview coach, interview the new tight ends and stuff like that. We didn't talk about that. Uh, and Luke talked to coach on the side. And, you know, coach explained, I don't like, you know, the cameraman on the field because it's dangerous. You know, you I mean you don't want a three hundred pound lineman come, you know, on a break, heading down the field or something like that, and not see you and just smash through a camera, or, or let's say they trip on a wire or something like that yeah. and sprain an ankle, and then you know we've ruined a career or something. Mm -hmm. So he, he was looking out for our interest and UTEP's. He wasn't being a jerk. We were stupid. Yeah. So moral of the story is, <laughs> don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. <laughs> Talk to coach first. Make sure you're allowed to film certain things. You're not allowed to the film. The middle of a football field. <laughs> it's not where you're supposed <laughs> it's not to be. Not where you need to be. Don't do it. <laughs> So we learned the hard way. But Coach was super cool after that. Again, like I said, he explained why he was upset. And uh, he he doesn't like people filming scrimmages. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like people filming um, like seven on seven or 11 versus 11. Not just a scrimmage scrimmage, but like, you know what I'm saying, when he's running plays. Because mm -hmm. he's worried someone's going to get a, a tell. 
Do I get you, a read. Do you think that there's a possibility that that UTEP cameraman saw you all running out there and just thought to himself, oh, Watch this, this is going to be amazing? Yeah, I'm sure he recorded it. <laughs> and it's funny because, like, Coach Kugler's going, like, look at my form as I run up to these guys. <laughs> yeah, looking like this. Like, when uh, our cameraman is filming Luke and we hear this, hey! You know what I mean? And the cameraman goes, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you can literally hear, whoa. And we look over like, oh, fuck. And he's just laying into us, man. You see, also now what you can do whenever Will starts getting on your nerves or something like that, you want to, he wants to pull a power play on you, you can pull this. I'll just call Coach Kukner. Yeah. <laughs> he, will, he will tune me up. <laughs> I'll, see, I'll see if I can get the film. <laughs> it'll probably be on the on the training films. Probably. So I'll get that. I'll get that segment. And whenever you're being a shit, I'm gonna play it the audio for you. That'd be nice. Yeah, yes, sir, you... Mr. Zabinal. I won't do it again, <laughs> <Yeah>. sir. <laughs> what you don't hear is the urine coming out of my leg as we're running off the field. But you can see this little trail wherever we go. You, little... hear, you hear the squish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, he is quite intimidating, Coach Kugler. So what you're saying is you might have ruined our shots of having him on the shootout. Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. I definitely didn't tell him that I was on the shootout. I was like, oh, KBA, here's me. <laughs> yeah, Channel 7. Uh. We're going to have cameras in here. Like, Get those fucking things. This isn't the NFL <laughs> Network. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I kind of <laughs> wanted to laugh, too, because that was yeah. funny. But uh, we did not laugh. I literally just – I didn't even look at him. I felt like a, like an eight-year-old being scolded by my father. Like, yes, sir. We're very, very sorry, sir. And, like, um, it, Luke is the boss. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. I was letting him talk to the coach. That's his, you know, spot. And even him. Like, he was like, we're very, very sorry, coach. <laughs> um, we apologize. It was my responsibility. I shouldn't have done that. You know? And, again, he wasn't so much scared as he was – upset because he had just developed this rapport with coach yeah and so he wanted to keep that rapport and he kind of thought maybe we had lost it yeah and because he has he coach the thought said i'm never having the media come out here again so we were just like <laughs> you know but afterwards coach is super awesome and we were invited back the next week and we spent the night up there did uh the first night it thought it rained real hard and there was lightning so there was no practice then the second night uh the second day it was clear so they mm-hmm. practices that's awesome yeah. So that was your first, uh, you know, <laughs> practice out there, Camp yes. Riadoso. That's my UTEP story. My now, first, yeah, you know, camp. You know he's never going to forget you now. I hope he does <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> he'll, he'll be like, I know the smell of this piss. Yeah, there's old Will pissy Heron? pants. Will <laughs> Heron? Is, is that old piss pants, Will <laughs> Heron? Yeah. That's old squishy shoes. <laughs> yeah. Coach can smell fear from a mile away. So so now we know you've learned a life <laughs> lesson here. You're no longer going to just run no. out to the middle of a, of a will football not. field. Don't, okay, who's out there? Okay, what cameraman thinks they know what they're doing? They don't. Did y'all actually use that footage, though? No. Well, oh. our cameraman ran. We we all ran. Like, he was running out of time. He's getting the fuck off the field. So we weren't like, oh, okay. No, we were like at a full sprint. Like, running out of there. I was holding <laughs> on to the mic and the cables and the cameraman was running and Luke was running. Like, we weren't jogging either. Like, we were running off of the field. Who made it off the field first? Uh, it was a tie, a three-way tie. <laughs> uh, how, just, uh, how sore were you after that? <laughs> oh, man. Once I dried my socks out, I was, I was okay. Because, <laughs> wow. Yeah, Coach, he's very he, – he's exciting. He's exciting, and he loves football. He loves the minors. And we have a really good coach. And do what he says. Yes. Uh, Moral yeah. of the story, do what Coach says. Okay, so I got another – a little funny quib, too. So during practice, there's music that's being played. Uh, random songs. Like they had um, Bob Marley's Three Little Birds, uh, Ring of Fire. Then you'll have like Kanye, all kinds of music. Like uh, Tim McGraw was being played. Just different songs. And I read that song, It Goes Down in the DM. Ooh. It goes down. <laughs> it goes down in the DM. Ooh. And like that was being played while the players and coaches were kind of going over to the different stations. And this uh, player ran by coach. He goes, hey, coach, you know it goes down the DMs, right? Coach Cougar goes, shut the fuck up, 9-5. <laughs> and that was that. <laughs> shut the fuck up, 9-5. <laughs> I bet he shut the fuck he up, did, too. Did. Yeah. Got real quiet right on the field. <laughs> yeah. Coach Cougar gets his point across very, very easily and quick. Uh, damn. <laughs> Loud. <laughs> I can't yeah. wait to see – you and your next exchange with Coach Kugler. <laughs> I don't. No. I hope he doesn't remember me. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> yeah. It was good times. Real good times. Oh, man.